alias the kitty. Not a particularly pretty kitten, he wasn't even our first choice. We had gone to see his sister. However, she wanted nothing to do with us. As we went to leave, we met the future alias Kitty Croft. Mewing at my feet, I picked up this tiny little bug-eyed kitten. Instantly purring and falling asleep in my arms, I knew we had to give him a new life. We also knew that for a kitty to live with us, he had to learn to use the toilet. Litter boxes had no room in our family. Baby Alias was eager to learn, and most definitely food motivated. He loved to greet us at the door. He loved his training sessions in which he learned to sit, fist bump, beg, and use the toilet instead of a litter box. He loved his string toys and eating plastic we learned no matter how old he was, he could not be trusted. As he got older, he got a handle on learning from his humans, learning what he needed to be part of their world. He learned they did not like it when you stood on counters, how they did not like it when he stole the people food. Inadvertently, he learned that his favorite thing to eat on this earth was pepperonis. He had his naughty moments, which is how he chipped a tooth, by numbing on some plastic. But he also learned that the humans could be caring, that they could show you how much they loved you, by scratches, by brushing, and sometimes they would give you big hugs after an awful bath. I have something to tell you. You're adopted. Over the years, his little body changed, and after a urinary tract health scare, he had to go to a different prescription food. While he didn't like it as much as the good old stuff, he still looked forward to his feeding times every day. When the humans got the devastating news his kidneys had been shut down for some time, our hearts filled with dread. The humans loved him more than anything on this earth. They knew he had to have the best last day he could ever have. The humans made sure his last day was filled with all of his favorite things. All the people he loved came to visit him, came to hug him, came to tell him how much he was loved. Do you know how much we love you? Love you so much, Mr. Kitty. Though he couldn't walk, the humans carried him to his favorite places around the house, the couch he could see the entire living room from, the bed he so loved to snuggle with them in, the windowsill he would sunbathe in every morning, and outside in the backyard where he would play and frolic under their supervision. He got an endless supply of wet food and catnip and pepperonis. 
all of these things might not seem special to you, but to Alias, they made up his life. He loved each day to see the human's adventures and to play with his brother and sister. This was how Alias the Kitty lived. And oh, how he lived. Now he lays in peace under the ground he once walked on under grass he once chased butterflies through. No more pain, just waiting for his humans in heaven, ready to teach them how to fly. <laughs>